User Provided Data Collection allows you to collect specific types of data directly from your users, such as email, address, and phone number. This data is then hashed for privacy and matched with other Google data to improve the accuracy of your measurement and unlock enhanced features like enhanced conversions, which allows you to gain a more complete view of your customer journey and conversion paths across devices. And it unlocks demographics and interest data. In this video, we'll show you how to enable the feature. And then in the next video, we'll show you how to implement user-provided data collection. Before you get started, make sure to link your Google Analytics property to your Google Ads account. Enabling this feature is simple. In admin, under data collection and modification, click data collection. Expand user ID and user provided data collection. Toggle on user provided data collection. Now optionally, you can click automatically detected user provided data to enable automatic collection. If you want GA4 to detect user provided data on your website. Note that this is not the preferred method of collection. Manual collection will be much more accurate and we'll show you how to implement manual collection in the next video. Review the user provided data policy and then click turn on. Next, you'll choose how you want to collect user provided data from your website. You have three options, GTAG.js, Google Tag Manager, or Measurement Protocol. In the next video, we'll walk through the GTAG.js and Google Tag Manager implementation. Check the documentation link in this video description for more help with these options. User provided data can be used with or without the user ID feature. The user ID feature involves creating a unique identifier for each user, which can enhance your reporting accuracy, especially for e-commerce sites. As a best practice, be sure to share multiple fields when possible. The more data points that you provide, the better the match rate with Google Data. Also, choose the right implementation method by reviewing your current tagging implementation when deciding between GTAG.js, Tag Manager, or Measurement Protocol. All right, that's it for today's video on user-provided data collection in GA. We hope you found this tutorial helpful in taking control of your first-party data. In our next video, we'll dive deeper into implementing user-provided data collection with GTAG.js and Google Tag Manager. Thanks for watching and happy measuring.